When Reina sat down at the café, she was surprised to see Rick enter and head toward her table. Rick and his wife, Luis, had been Reina and her husband's neighbors for almost four years. They were both slightly older than her, well into their forties rather than around thirty-five but they had become quite close with Brad and her. They had even spent a few vacations together as couples with and without children. Rick, what a surprise Reina said a little excitedly looking around. Shouldn't you be at work, I can say the same about you, he said calmly sitting down across from her. I took the afternoon off for personal deadlines. And I assume you did the same. Reina nodded, busy morning, and I needed to recharge a little. That's about it. I never realized you were a fan of cafes like this one, Rick said, looking her in the eye, she continued to avert her gaze. Honestly, I saw you walk in here and decided to join you. We need to talk. Is something wrong? I hope nothing happened to Luis Reina said. Rick lowered his eyes for a moment and smiled at her. No, everything is fine. Thank you for your concern. You and Brad have become very important to us, and we know we can count on you if anything happens to either of us. I wouldn't hesitate to do the same. That's why I needed to come here. What's the matter? I'm fine, I'm just a little nervous, Rena said. Have you slept with him yet? Rick interrupted her in a calm, slightly lowered voice. What? Rain his face flashed. I don't know who the guy is who keeps making you look at the door. That's who Rick said. Really? Did you or did you not have sex with him? No. Not at all. Raina's face flashed and she began to move her arms involuntarily. Rick closed his eyes and smiled shaking his head. He opened them and gently touched her hand like a father would. You have to listen to me, I'm going to tell you what's going on, what you probably think about what's going on, and finally, what he thinks about it. That's really important. Reina only nodded. He's charming either younger or more successful than Brad. He seems to have some better qualities than your husband, and he lets you pour your soul out to him. He also compliments you very well when you have a need for someone. He's always there for you and will sacrifice something for it at some point. So far, so good, Reina felt her body tense up. How do you know? Does Brad know? He suspects, of course, he suspects Rick said. And you know, he suspects, but he has no proof. I'm sure those suspicions made you make him feel like an idiot. How do I know? Here's what happened, two important events happened in the last two weeks and you missed them both for the same reason, something happened to Mr. Charming, and he needed you as a friend. And because you felt obligated to him. You miss both your son's birthday and your ninth anniversary dinner to be with him. Nothing happened. We're just friends, and he's the kind of friend that you keep from your husband because he wouldn't understand. This friend wants to know everything about your husband, so you told him even intimate details that you probably wouldn't share with me. In everything you tell him, he supports you and pretends a all Brad's fault, whatever problems you have. I bet even Brad suspicions that something is going on. He puts up his proof of what a horrible husband he is. Was it the day you missed your son's party or dinner with your husband that he kissed you and confessed his attraction? Raina's jaw dropped. How do you know she lowered her face and her hand trembled slightly? When I missed our anniversary, he was depressed because an old friend of his died. It just happened, but I stopped it right away. Rick nodded. So here's an honest look at what happened, from your defensive behavior and the fact that you're sitting here right now waiting for him, I think things went a little further than just a kiss, no sex. But far enough that if you caught Brad doing the same thing, you'd consider it cheating. Still, you think it's partly Brad's fault because he's not the husband you want as Mr. Charming helpfully points out. He's just a friend giving you something you think you're not getting at home, nevertheless, you are attracted to him and his attention is mildly disturbing, but you don't plan on crossing that line. You've probably convinced yourself that you haven't done it yet, but a big part of you already feels guilty and hopes Brad never finds out. Are you going to tell him? Reina asked. 
so you admit that I've been right so far? Rick clarified, I have to say guessing how you feel makes it easier to predict your actions, we slept together, but I couldn't get over it. Raina said her eyes watering, he understood and just held me while we slept. We did some things but stayed in our clothes mostly, Brad acting so stupid, and I was angry and drunk. And with that, you pretty much proved him right, Rick said. No, I'm not going to tell Brad any of this, but he'll figure it out for himself. Okay, now here's what he thinks is going on. Mr. Charming sees an attractive woman who's busy. He sees vulnerabilities that he can use to manipulate her. Rena flinched, but Rick stopped her with a calm hand gesture. Mr. Charming knows this as he has experienced in this matter. Pardon the bad cliché, but this isn't his first rodeo. See, you're assuming that you're the one he's targeting, you're not stupid enough not to realize that he wants to sleep with you. Since you started dating him behind your husband's back, the allure makes you think it's all about something special between the two of you and provides what your husband is missing. I and Charming tried like hell to point out everything your husband is missing. That's because it's not about you. It's about Brad. Charming gets a thrill knowing he's taking something away from Brad. That's why he convinced you to skip two very important events to show that he means more to you than Brad. It was no coincidence that the death of a friend and whatever other crisis it was happened just as you missed both events. Brad's birthday is in three weeks and something is bound to happen that you change all your plans because it has to do with Brad. He won't do that. Rick raised an eyebrow. You were in the arms of Mr. Charming while your husband waited at the restaurant for an hour before you finally texted him that you weren't coming, that you stayed late for a friend at work who got food poisoning. You weren't even creative enough give me a name. Probably so Brad couldn't check, and now you're waiting for Mr. Charming skipping work. You've revealed here, current priorities, and they certainly aren't your marriage, he wants me. Rena? Said that's all. He doesn't want Brad to. Know as much as I do, he doesn't even know my husband. No. Charm knows a lot about him because he's been asking you. About every detail. He knows Brad through, you, Mr. Charming knows damn well that Brad has every right to be suspicious, and he also knows that he can convince you that it's an overreaction. He needs that suspicion that growing wedge between the two of you, otherwise, there's no chance of closing the deal. Because and listen carefully, I said this is about Brad, not you. Mr. Charm thinks he's going to get everything he can from you. And then once he realizes he's completely stolen you from Brad and you belong to him, he'll reveal his end game. We'll make sure your loving husband finds out and then he'll probably still continue the physical relationship for a while at least until he finds his next trophy. How do you know that? What and? Luis Rick smiled. My wife and I are in a faithful marriage for many years, but I haven't always been married. You have to. Choices continue this affair in you. No. It isn't a fair and try to prove me. Wrong that it won't end in sex or that. Everything will remain a secret because Mr. Charming isn't the man I made him out to be or get it over with and hope to. Save my marriage. Once Charming gets, everything he wants to get, he'll make. Sure, Brad finds out maybe even lie about. You guys going farther than you really, did Rena cried, please, I can't. Brad can't find out. Rick walked over to her. Hugged her soothingly and whispered in. Her ear then don't do anything. Don't even peck anyone on the cheek without. Your husband knowing. Otherwise, I'm damned. Sure. He'll find out. Rena is that man upsetting you. Came a voice from behind them. Rick turned around and saw a young guy tall and slender with a huge beard. Well, you must be Red and I'm Brad. Rick held out his hand for a handshake and the other man slowly did the same. He grabbed Reed's hand and squeezed hard. Rick pulled him 
closer to whisper in his ear twisting. One finger away from him. Listen to me. You vomit. You make a scene in that. Finger will be broken. You don't talk to my wife. You don't talk. About my wife or I'll kill you. You're not her husband Reeds said with pain in. His voice who are you. Wrong since you care about who I am. Just between you and me, I'm the only one you can talk to. About this, otherwise, you've got your fingers partially in the cookie jar, but don't risk losing your hand. She's not worth it. Is she? No. No. Definitely not. Reed said rubbing his hand after Rick. Let go of it. Damn waste of time. After two months, I've accomplished next to nothing, with that frigid winch, Reno was sure Reed hadn't seen the blow coming. Everyone watched in silence as Rick, stood with his hands up while Reed got, up off the floor and hurried to the door. Self-defense guys, a man was abusing, my sister and you saw how aggressive he became when I demanded he stop it. Cheers, of approval were heard and everyone went. Back to their business, Rick turned and said to Renee. You have a second chance. Go home, be the kind of wife your husband deserves. I know it will be hard, but tell him he was right to suspect you, but you stopped. Before it was too late, don't mention that I had to intervene. It's better for you. I know Brad, he'll be angry, but AGK. Wanna get it over with. Thanks. Rena, said wiping her eyes. I didn't do it for you, Rick said, but for Brad into a tone, a little for my own actions in the past. Have a good 